Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading Romans chapter 3, ugh, Romans chapter 14, verses 3 and 4. We're going to cover a lot, but just these two on this video. Let not him that eat that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Now, I'm going to say it in layman's terms. Pat's two cents. You guys who eat, don't despise the one that doesn't. And those of you who won't eat, don't despise him that chooses to eat. Listen, verse 4. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up. For God is able to make him stand. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. God does not want, this is Pat's two cents. God does not want you judging. Now, I see it's very prevalent in certain uh, faith movements. Uh, I won't mention names because I'm not trying to criti criticize. But there are times when we get a little bit too high on our horse and we actually start making the works win us brownie points with God but with God the works that we concentrate on are oftentimes too trivial for him because he wants us to love he wants us to edify one another Yet, we will sit there and say, mm, they eat pork. I don't think so. Uh, how can they know God and eat pork? Oh, that person over there, they eat fried foods, and that's not good for the body. There's got to be something wrong with their walk. Or, some of us might say, you mean you don't eat any meat? You only eat vegetables. You're ignoring the blessing God gave us of all food. I know God can't be pleased with you. What a slap in his face. Well, we could go back and forth and back and forth and debate, 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 debate. And neither one of us are right. And neither one of us are wrong. We just need to mind our own business. And if I choose to eat chicken or fish or whatever, and I'm doing it by faith and I'm blessing my food as unto the Lord, then guess what? I'm free to do so because I only have to answer to the Lord. If I choose to be a vegetarian and I don't touch pork and I don't touch shrimp, and there are certain things that will not cross my lips. I can't sit in judgment of somebody else that's pigging out on shrimp and pork and bacon and everything that my lips won't touch. I can't look at them as if they're less spiritual than I am. No, they have a different body than I do. They have a different constitution. They can do some things I can't. They can load salt all on their plate. I can't do it. My ankles are swell up. Has nothing to do with righteousness. So we have no right to judge. They bless their food full of shrimp and pork and all of that. And I bless my food full of my plate full of rabbit food. It's fine. Either one is fine. Both are blessed by God. And if I choose to say, ooh, let me have a taste of that shrimp. I might take a bite. I'm not committing a sin. We have blessed our food. We're eating in faith. It's when you eat with a guilty conscience that you're sinning against your own mind. So, that's a little quickie. Don't judge. Let everyone be free. Lesson number two coming.